Hi, everybody. Today is Wednesday, uh, May 12th, and it's Rhoda Vernon's birthday. I just want to say happy birthday. It just so happens it's somebody's birthday on the day I'm recording. Uh, uh, my name is Kim Bergen Jackson, and I'm the administrator, and this is our weekly COVID update. So we are uh, on day 14 of our current outbreak and testing staff today. We've been testing staff since 6.30 this morning, and we should wrap up in the next couple of hours. So far, so good. We've had no new positive cases for 14 days, so knock on wood, uh, we won't have any positives today and we'll be out of outbreak. We, Steve and I, when I say we, Steve and I will compile a note uh, by the end of the week uh, about some changes that we would like to make starting Monday. Um, the county positivity in Johnson County is down to 3.7%, which is great, uh, trending downward um, for the past month or six weeks. Uh, everybody's vaccinated, as you know, and so there are a couple things that we would like to change. I know everybody has been anxious to have the guest rooms reopen, so uh, starting Monday we will reopen the guest rooms uh, for reservations. Um, and we will require proof of vaccination. So if you can only stay in the guest rooms if you're fully vaccinated. We're also talking about making changes to dining services. We haven't made decisions about that yet, but like I said, we'll have a, a letter out to you by the end of the week. So that today's Wednesday, by Friday afternoon, we'll get a letter written about the changes. The changes could include allowing fully vaccinated visitors into the community in the common spaces. And what that means for you is that we will ask you as residents of Oak Knoll to verify that your guests are vaccinated. We don't, as I've said before, we don't have capacity to monitor all of your visitors, um, potentially, you know, hundreds of people. Um, we do have capacity to monitor the guest room. So if someone is staying in the community in the bubble, I really want them to be vaccinated. Um, I really want your guests to be vaccinated if they're in the common spaces as well. Um, so, but I'm gonna leave that up to you. Um, so that's common spaces. Uh, hopefully um, we will be able to stop testing residents after today. We've been testing health center residents um, for 14 days. The positive resident who was fully vaccinated has recovered from COVID and had only mild symptoms for a day. The staff person who had COVID, who was also fully vaccinated, has recovered and really only had minimal symptoms, uh, maybe for 48 hours. So with confidence, I can say the vaccines are working. Um, it doesn't stop transmission, but it slows transmission down. We were able to keep it to one exposure, which is excellent. And um, the symptoms were really manageable. So that is good. that's good news. While we're considering opening things up a little more, I want you to keep in mind that this is not the same COVID uh, anxiety that we had a year ago. So we are all protected with the vaccines and we can make some movements towards more freedom, uh, cautiously aware that breakthrough positives will still happen. Um, people who are fully vaccinated and become um, sick with COVID are um, almost always symptomatic. And then when you're symptomatic, you would test and find out that you have COVID. So uh, I don't want you to worry about that. We're still gonna be careful. Uh, I still recommend social distancing if you're like in a big group, hand hygiene, all the things you've been doing, you're experts at now. I would still keep recommending those mitigation strategies, especially if you're around people you don't know. So if you're going to the grocery store or Walmart or Target or Hardig Drug, um, there is still a mask mandate in Johnson County. And so you, while you don't have to wear it inside the house, so to speak, uh, you do have to wear it outside in the community. And that's a, that's a um, Johnson County supervisor rule and it's an Iowa City mandate from the mayor. So. I don't want you to stop wearing your masks outside of Oak Knoll when you're in stores and, and the such, pharmacies, stores, banks, anywhere you might be going. Um, what else can I tell you? I don't know. I'm talking to Bruce, uh, and Bruce is talking to the public health department 
about the possibility of brunch and buffets. We don't have any answers on that yet, but we, we are looking into how we can make that work. So if we were able to bring the buffet back at lunchtime, would you come for lunch? Um, if we were able to bring the brunch back on Sundays with the prime rib, would you come for brunch? So those are some of the questions that we're thinking about. If you would like to give me some feedback, I'd, I'd take it. Uh, I'm also curious about why the dining rooms are so empty. Um, so if you, uh, if you are choosing not to dine in at Oak Knoll in the dining rooms, uh, send me an email or give me a call and let me know your thoughts on that. Um, just curious how we can get the community back a little bit to um, having fun and being together and visiting and stuff. So I'm um, thinking about how to move forward safely. Uh, and so that's top of mind for me right now. Otherwise, we're just doing what we're doing every day. Um, keep up the good work. Hopefully you're seeing more family um, because you're all protected. We do have all three of the vaccines. If you have family members who have not been vaccinated yet, um, give me a call. Um, Public Health is providing us with all of the vaccines. So I have Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson is that one shot, um, so that's good. And Pfizer has, a, has been approved by the FDA in kids 12 to 15. Um, that meeting of the, um, uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called, like APIC, or it's the, um, it's the body of experts that inform the CDC are meeting today. And so by tonight or tomorrow, we should have information about approval for kids age 12 to 15. I saw something in the news about Pfizer moving to uh, five to 14, I think, no, to 12, five to 12 uh, by September. So they wanna start moving to the next age group. So that's good news to get the kids vaccinated by September, that would be great. School age, all school age kids. So um, <clears throat> I think that's all I have for today. Uh, I apologize if, if I'm a little long and rambly today. There's a lot rolling around in my head. So um, stay well and stay healthy, and I'll see you in two weeks. Thanks.